Introduction to Laboratory Animals Welcome to our master class on pharmacological and toxicological screening methods. In today's video, we are going to explore the world of laboratory animals, why they are used, the different species and strains, how they are handled, and their various applications in research. Let's dive in. Segment 1 Definition and Importance General footage of laboratory settings and animals. Laboratory animals are non human animals used in scientific research to study biology, diseases, and the effects of treatments. These animals provide critical insights into how diseases develop and how new therapies can work. Their role is essential in advancing medical science and ensuring the safety of new drugs and treatments. Segment 2 Common Species and Strains. Footage of each animal species as they are discussed, let's look at some of the most commonly used laboratory animals and their specific strains. Mice in a laboratory, mice, moose musculus, are among the most frequently used laboratory animals. Their small size, ease of handling, and rapid breeding make them ideal for research. Common strains include BALB, C, known for its use in immunology, and C57BL, 6, often used in genetics and cancer research. Rats in a laboratory, rats, Reptus norvegicus, are also widely used, particularly in toxicology and pharmacology. Strains like Wister and Sprague Dolly are chosen for their well-documented characteristics and consistent responses in experiments. Guinea pigs in a lab setting. Guinea pigs, cavia pocillus, are crucial for studies in immunology and respiratory diseases. They are used to test vaccines and understand immune responses due to their similarity to human physiology. Rabbits in a laboratory, rabbits, Oryctelagus cuniculus, are commonly used for producing antibodies and testing pyrogens, substances that induce fever. Their size and biological features make them suitable for these purposes. Non-human primates in a research setting, non-human primates are used in advanced research areas like neuroscience, vaccine development, and behavioral studies. Their complex physiological and psychological characteristics make them valuable for studying higher-order functions and diseases. Zebrafish in a tank. Zebrafish, Danio Ririo, are becoming increasingly popular in genetic studies and drug screening due to their transparent embryos and rapid development. They offer a unique perspective in developmental biology and are used for high-throughput drug screening. Segment 3. Handling Techniques, Demonstrations of Various Handling Techniques, Handling laboratory animals correctly is crucial for their well-being and the reliability of research results. Different species require different handling techniques. Tail handling of mice, for mice, a common method is tail handling, where the tail is gently held to minimize stress, scruffing of rabbits. Rabbits are often scruffed by grasping the skin at the back of their neck. This technique is useful for restraint and minimizing movement. Tube restraint of rats, rats might be restrained in a tube, which helps in conducting procedures while keeping the animal calm and stationary. Segment 4. Applications of laboratory animals, footage of various research activities. Laboratory animals are instrumental in several key areas of research. Disease modeling in a lab, they are used in disease modeling, where animals are engineered or treated to develop conditions similar to human diseases. This helps researchers understand the disease mechanisms and test potential treatments. Drug testing in a lab. Drug testing is another critical application. By administering new drugs to laboratory animals, researchers can evaluate their effectiveness and safety before human trials. Genetic studies using lab animals. Genetic studies use laboratory animals to explore gene functions and interactions. This research is fundamental in understanding genetic disorders and developing gene therapies. Safety assessments in a laboratory. Safety assessments involve testing for potential toxic effects of substances to ensure they are safe for human use. This includes studying the effects of chemicals, pharmaceuticals, and environmental toxins. That's a wrap on our overview of laboratory animals. We've covered their definition, common species and strains, handling techniques, and their various research applications. If you found this video informative, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our master class series. Drop your questions in comments below, we'd love to hear from you. See you in the next video.